Hey guys, today we're going to make a custom lunch with Boris the Wolf from Bindi and the Ink Machine. We'll use this 3D printed cookie cutter to cut out some pieces of French bread. I used food coloring to paint on Boris's details. Then I cut out some meat and cheese to fill the sandwich. And of course we'll be making my yummy edible ink black mayonnaise. All we have to do is mix in some black food coloring. Then we'll just smear it on the sandwich. Perfect. Next, I filled a container with applesauce and added black food coloring to make another fun ink you can eat. I sliced up an apple. And I found this bunny cookie cutter that we're going to pretend is Boris. Then I used two different round cutters to make Bendy. I mix some of the cutouts into the applesauce and put a bunch on top. Next we're going to make ink blot cookies. I rolled out some cookie dough. Then I used a flower shaped cookie cutter to make the shapes. Then I changed the shapes to look more like ink blots. When the cookies were done baking, I made cookie icing using powdered sugar, condensed milk, and food coloring.
Then I just frosted the cookies. For our final treat, I used edible rice paper to make our edible bindi messages. I used a food coloring marker and a paintbrush dipped in food coloring to make the designs. Now this lunch has ink and paper messages that you can actually eat. Next, I built my lunch. And that's it. Now you have a Boris the Wolf lunch that you can take on your daily adventures to the office, to the park, or wherever. Hey guys, today we're drawing Bunny from Toy Story 4. This is my first attempt at drawing Bunny and I just wasn't happy with the end result but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. The reference photo I used was from one of the Toy Story 4 posters and it shows Bunny having this kind of scowling look and he's of course next to Ducky. As you can see, because this is the first time I'm trying to draw Bunny and Ducky, I'm using a lot of sketchy marks and there's lots of uncertainty in the way I'm drawing, it seems like. Um, there's a lot of sketching, just trying to get a feel of where the arms and legs should be. I drew this Bunny a lot differently than later on when I've had more experience and I've drawn it a couple of times. So I think you'll notice a definite difference when you see the other two. When I went to ink this and everything, it just didn't have the feel that I wanted, so I didn't go ahead with coloring it, and I thought I would try again. The second time around, I pretty much had the head shape down, and I was working on the body, and I realized that my body was kind of slanted. And so a little tip I found out is that if you're having trouble keeping your lines straight on the paper, just Draw some guidelines with a ruler, and that really helps you keep things centered. But by the time I was done drawing this one, I liked this one even less. I felt like his body was too elongated and his legs didn't look quite right. So this was my second failed attempt. So now on to attempt number three. By this time, I really knew the shape of this bunny. So when I went to draw it, it was a lot easier. And I pretty much drew it freehand and it was really easy, surprisingly. So that's maybe something I picked up from this experience is that you should draw things several times before you go to your good paper and your good pens and try to draw whatever you're drawing. This is the one I liked best of all. Now keep in mind that Bunny is supposed to be just kind of like a toy that you buy at the fair. So he's kind of, uh, I don't want to say cheap looking, but he's not the most expensive stuffed animal you'll ever see in your life. But that's the way he's made. That's his character. So once I was done drawing, I decided I was going to ink it.
Once I was done inking, I erased all the lines and then I went to watercoloring. He has a beautiful blue fur with green accents on his tummy, his hands, and his inner ears. And also his mouth, his muzzle is green. He also has violet eyes and I think I made these eyes just a little bit too purple, but that's okay. I liked it anyway. It turned out uh, really good. I was pleased with it. I added the black for his eyes and that was it. Bunny was complete. He's a pretty simple drawing and he's really fun to draw because uh, he's a bunny. Bunnies are awesome. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Have a great day.